God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Friday, November 25th. Today's devotional, like yesterday's, is based on the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. They came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him on the way. Today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by A.K.M. Adam. In the healing of Bartimaeus, Mark gently affirms Jesus' identity as the anointed son. But Jesus accepts that role by helping a noisy beggar. Together, the healer and the beggar recognize in one another more than the distracting, misguided crowd, or the imperial forces, or the temple establishment for that matter, understands. The regal authority comes to divine expression in deliverance, in persistence, in fulfilling the vocation of recognizing and strengthening one another. And we're left with this to ponder for the weekend. Put yourself in Bartimaeus' shoes or sandals and imagine how he might have felt. Let us pray. Let me take heart in the gentleness and power of your presence. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. And I hope you join me again on Monday. And don't forget, our special Advent devotional series begins on Sunday. So if you wait until Monday, you're going to have to backtrack a bit. Until then, I pray that you remain safe and healthy, that wherever you go, whatever you do, your heart only shares the message that love is love. Amen.